Or no, Camino's Pastor Bruce. This past Sunday, I had uh, almost all of my siblings uh, in town. Came in kind of for a little mini reunion, uh, family members from all over, the, all over the place. And so we came in, they were here in church. You, you probably didn't get to meet them all. It was in the second service and it was dark. And, and uh, after service, we, we went out and had lunch together. And it's been a while since uh, most of us have been together. In, in, in fact, it had been probably about five years. And um, I took a lot of grief for that <laughs> because it, from, from my wife and uh, saying, you know, we should get together more often. That's terrible. And, and she's right. Um, but as we're sitting there having lunch together, um, typical our family, uh, the stories start flying. And some of them are very familiar stories that we've been telling on each other for years and just laughing and laughing and, and it's getting louder and louder in the restaurant. Some of them are stories that I have never heard before. And, and I don't even know where they've come from because uh, we've been telling stories on each other for a long time. And uh, some of these stories were brand new to me. I'd never heard them before. And, you know, most of them are um, embarrassing to one person or another, right? Sometimes, most of them we were telling on ourselves and uh, telling stories that the other siblings didn't know about us, you know, type of thing. And it, it, here we are. I was the youngest in the crew at the time. Uh, I have a younger brother. He wasn't able to be here. But... Um, it's just, aren't you glad? As I, as they're sitting there in church, right? I, I'm thinking, you know, what in the world do my siblings think? Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. A familiar verse probably for most of you. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. I don't know about you, but I'm kind of glad that the old has passed away and the new has come. Christ has a way of redeeming us, changing us, transforming us into a new creation. That's the good news, that no matter where we've come from, no matter what we've gone through, we are forgiven, redeemed, and in the process of transformation to become more like Christ. That's the good news. Uh, the past is gone. In case you haven't heard yet, your past is gone. And the new has come. See you soon, church.